Rebels! What's up, guys? I just got done watching Rex Henry's vlog video, and it was freaking awesome. Uh, you know, first long video that he did, and it was a vlog. And I realized I've never done a vlog before. The only videos I've done is quick videos, you know, toy stuff, and uh, have a little talk with you guys for a minute. Um, I'm really getting into the 3D printing stuff. Um, I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm intimidated about it. <laughs> I think that I could probably do it. I mean, you know, I'm an old dog. You know, I'm 45 years old. You know, teaching an old dog new tricks, man, is not is not easy. But I really want to get into it. And uh, Rex has got a 3D printer that he wants to sell me, which I think I'm going to buy it. And uh, I think I'm going to try to learn how to do some 3D printing. Like I said, I'm really intrigued by it. And just the next step... <laughs> you know in this channel I mean I know you guys can watch me buy toys and and you know stuff which is cool and I love doing that but it's like I just I'd like to I'd like to try something new you know so 3d printing would be pretty cool you know like I got that I got that uh, that Mandalorian helmet off of him and it is just kick ass and you know I do a lot of polishing you know and finish work and I think I think I could polish a helmet, a helmet up pretty good, clean it up pretty well, paint it. I think it'd be pretty kick ass. It's something I'm really, I'm really interested in doing. So I think I may, I think I may do this, man. I think I may get a 3D printer, learn how to do this stuff. Speaking of Rex Henry, I'm heading there now to his home. Uh, he lives about half an hour away from me, and uh, I'm picking up the ears. They call it for Boba Fett, the sides. Well, Mandalorian, Mandalorian ears is not really going to be a Boba Fett helmet. It is, but it doesn't have the dent. It's something I want to do different, you know. I want to, I love art and stuff, and I want to do my own style helmet, my own Mandalorian helmet. So the way I paint it may be different than the other Mandalorian helmets you guys have seen in the past. But, uh, so I want to paint it up my own way, and I'm heading there right now, right after work. It's Monday. I've done work 10 hours, and now... Now I'm driving <laughs> to pick this up, but it's all good, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to learn a little bit about it. He said he's going to start a print when I get there. Show me a couple little things about printing because I know nothing about printing, guys. Nothing. But uh, so I'm picking up the ears and I'm picking up the back piece that goes on the back. And I'm picking up the uh, the antenna, the rangefinder thing that Boba Fett has. And uh, so I'm picking those things up, and he printed those for me. Just finished them, so I'm coming to pick those up now. Just thought I'd do some kind of vlog, man. Rex did a vlog, and I loved it. You know, it's probably not going to be as cool as his because he was he was out at the uh, Indian the Indian Mound or whatever in Cedarville, I believe. I've never been there before, but uh, it looked really cool, man. So you guys are just gonna hear me ramble for a little bit while I'm driving. Blue Eyes is at home. You know, I don't have anybody to talk to, so why not talk to myself? Talk to myself, right? But yet, talk to you guys. So now I have an excuse to talk to myself, <laughs> right? That's how that works. So, uh, like I said, I'm driving to pick this up. I'm excited, and uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll end this part, and I will pick up when I'm at Rex's house. So I'll show you guys a little bit of his print and stuff. It's gonna be kick ass. See you guys there. So I just arrived at Rex's place. Check this out, guys. How badass is that? That is dope. Hey, what's up, guys? So here's the parts I was talking about. Sweet. Very cool. But look at this awesome awesome PC gave me. Is that awesome or what? That's going to be hung up in the toy room. Very cool. Here's a setup. Is this all your like airbrush inks and stuff? Yep. Air paints? Okay. Man, this is cool. <laughs> this is awesome. And you're working on a print over here? Yep. That's going to be take two of uh Second the second sister helmet, sweet. As you can tell, he's a Mandalorian right here. Check that out. That is so dope. That is so cool.
got so much cool stuff, man. First attempt turned out uh, way too small. <laughs> and that's the thing with like, you know, 3D printing and making stuff is there's some times where you just mess up. And this is a good case mess up. So I'm gonna trim this up a little bit. Now it's a little kid's helmet. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Very cool, man. Dude, that thing is so big. Jeez. I mean, compared to my hand, like, that thing is huge. Can you imagine how big a droid would be? Oh, this is it? Oh, I gotta show this off, too. Oh, man. Dude, it feels like... I wanna drop it. It's got weight to it. Like, it... It feels like an action figure. Like, it's sweet. You giving that to me? Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that thing's awesome. <laughs> Dude, that's hot. Dude. <laughs> that's Hunter, right? Yep. That's sweet. We got a couple hot toys. Yeah, that's sweet. Love Boba Fett. It's awesome. Oh, you got the Mandalorian also? Yeah, I got actually I got two Bobas too. I got him and another one. That is badass, Rex. That is awesome, dude. Holy crap. Oh my god. General Grievous. That is sweet. A lot of work to be done on this one. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> dude, that's sick. So you can make a life-size Grievous? <laughs> Just a bus. <laughs> that's awesome. It'll be articulating. Oh, so dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. What is that? This is gonna be the collar. For... Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. See you, buddy. Take care. See you guys. Okay, rebels, back to the vlog. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I've never done a vlog before. This is a lot of fun. But uh, so we just left Rex. Uh, man, what a cool guy. And uh, he educated me a little bit on three D printing because I know nothing about 3D printing. And uh, I'm not as intimidated about it as I was. Um, he was showing me just a, a rough way of, you know, like how to how to print. Um, he's working on a Tuscan radar, Raider uh, mask, like he did last time. And uh, he pretty much showed me how to start the print. And it was pretty cool. It was neat. Uh, I think I could probably do it. I think I could, so. I think this is going to be my next big adventure. I think I'm going to start 3D printing. So, uh, you guys might not see me do as much toy hunts because I'm going to be penny pinching a little bit uh, to pay for the printer and the filament and all the stuff that I'm going to need. But uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. So, I'm driving home now <laughs> and uh, talking to myself, but I can justify it because I'm talking to you guys, right? So, so I can just, you know, anybody sees me and they're like, Rebels is talking to himself. No, that's not true. <laughs> I'm talking to the Rebels. I'm talking to the channel, you know? But yeah, what a cool guy, man. That General Grievous head. Oh my God, man. Can you imagine having a life-size General Grievous? I mean, I think he's just making just the head. But uh, it's freaking awesome. The droid that he's working on. That was pretty cool. Just all that stuff is neat, man. And, and, like, I'm really intrigued. I'm really intrigued by making... 3d prints man that's insane to just create something like that you know that is so cool I, I just think it'd be really neat to like make helmets or action figures or busts you know like little mini busts so i'm 
I'm definitely going to be, I, I've definitely got the itch. <laughs> uh, for lack of better terms, I definitely have the itch. I definitely want to dive into this 3D printing thing. And I mean, who knows? Either I'm going to dig it, you know, or I'll get burned out on it. I mean, hopefully I'll dig it. And hopefully I'll buy a bigger printer and a bigger printer and uh, the printer that I, I'll be buying off the of Rex, I believe, like if I do a helmet, I have to do it in halves. Like, so it's kind of a smaller printer than the one he has. But the one he has is freaking awesome because like he can print a full-size helmet, like a one-shot, like a full-size helmet, you know, like my Mandalorian helmet, you know. That's freaking awesome. And then like he printed the ears and stuff uh, separate, which is cool. So I've got to get the sanding that thing, painting it. I've got a couple ideas of uh, color schemes that I want to do on it, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see. We'll just see how it turns out. Definitely excited about it. So. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end this little vlog because, <laughs> like, I literally just sitting here, just like, I mean, just talking, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, he makes it look pretty simple, you know, like making those 3D prints and. Uh, I really do think I could do it. <laughs> I think it's pretty badass. So I'm sure you guys are going to be seeing some videos here very soon of me doing 3D prints. I'm not going to stop doing toy stuff, too. I do love doing toy stuff. Uh, toy hunts when I can. I've, I'm have i still interested in G.I. Joe, but, like, G.I. Joe Classified, I'm just kind of, I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe when the scrap iron stuff, you know, the scrap iron figure comes out and shipwreck, you know, stuff like that, I'll be a little more excited about G.I. Joe. I've just kind of got, I don't know, it's like, uh, I've just kind of got burnout on the classified figures as of right now. I'm not that I'm going to get rid of them or anything like that. I still like them. But it just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being honest with you guys. I mean, like, I, I love all the ones that have came out so far. But it just seems like it takes a while for them to put them out. And then, like, you know, the they're hard to find. And it's like, I was pre-ordering them on Big Bad and stuff, but Big Bad takes forever. And by the time Big Bad has it ready, I've already found it in the store. So, like, I'm just... I don't know. I just feel like I'll find them when I find them. You know, it's like... I think, as much as I like G.I. Joe Classified, I really like the G.I. Joe Vintage Toys probably more the three and three quarter inch because it's like... And I've said this before, like, it's a toy hunt. You know, it's a toy hunt when you find that G.I. Joe classified figure you're looking for or that Star Wars Black Series figure that you're looking for. But when you find that three and three quarter figure, three and three quarter inch figure that you had as a child and it's 30, 40 years old and you find that, that's a hunt, man. That, that's the way I feel. I mean, it's just my opinion. But that's, that's a hunt, man. When you find that vintage figure that they haven't made for like 40 years and you find that, you know, at a toy show or a flea market or anything like that, man, that's a hunt. That's a that's a pretty pretty kick ass feeling to find something like that. But I don't know. It's like I'm starting to get that same excited feeling for this 3D printing stuff. It's like it's a rush. Just watching, just watching it and trying to figure out, you know, how the things work. It's like so. <laughs> I hope I don't burn you guys out on the 3D printing stuff, but I am excited about it. And uh, it's cool, man. Rex lives about half an hour away from me. He said he'd help me with this, so that's cool. You know what I mean? So I've got somebody that can help me out with it a little bit. So I'm excited. I'm excited to, to jump into this. <laughs> jump into this, uh, yeah, this this crazy adventure of 3D printing. So we'll see how that goes. And, you know, like I do polish, you know, so I think, you know, the sanding and stuff, I think I can figure that out. The paint, you know, I'm, I'm an artist anyway. I love art. You guys know I like to draw, paint, you know, uh, like my my G.I. Joe action figures that I painted. You know, I had a hell of a time doing that. That was a lot of fun. And uh, painting helmets and stuff, I think I can do that. I mean, that would, be so, that would be so cool. It's like, you know, like building that helmet, painting that helmet, or action figure, or whatever it is. It's like, I've got the itch, guys. I think that's what I want to do is 3D print, man. Pretty kick-ass. So, I'm going to stop boring you guys because uh, I'm just rambling on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are even going to like a video like this. If you guys don't like the vlog, let me know. Send me a message, Instagram, or comment here on the video. Just be like, Rebels, I don't know about the vlogs. You know, stick to toy hunting or 
you know, just short videos that I usually do. I usually don't do long videos at all anymore. But uh, I figured I'd do at least one vlog. See if you guys wanted to hang out with me for a little while and watch it or not. <laughs> but I love all you guys. I appreciate you all. Appreciate everybody. Um, we're getting close to that 900, which is crazy. I looked at my subscriber account this morning, and uh, it was 887. You know, like when I first started this channel, I know I say this all the time, but when I first started this channel, I was just trying to get 100 subscribers. I'm like, if I get 100, 100 people watching me, I'm like, that'd be awesome. You know, that'd be cool. That'd be worth doing. And now it's 887, which blows my mind. You know, I don't care about monetization. You know, I'm not real. I mean, I've got a job. I don't care about the money. I mean, you guys know Rebels, no rules. I play ACDC and stuff on my channel. You know, I get copy, copyright uh, claims all or strikes all the time. I don't care. Copyright claims, that's what they are. Copyright claims all the time. I don't care. I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it for fun. And I appreciate you guys all watching me. I really do. And uh, like I said, 887, man. Tell your friends about me. Get us up to 900. Oh, my God. It's only like 13 more. I'd be blown away if I woke up. You know, I always wake up and I look at my phone. You know, if I went to my YouTube studio and see 900, 900 subscribers. Like, what? You know, I mean, it blows my mind. It really blows my mind that there's that many people that enjoy my content, you know, and uh, I've met nothing but friends on YouTube. I mean, like, I, I can't think of anybody that I dislike on YouTube. Like, everybody I've met really are, like, friends and family, like John Joker would put it, friends and family. They really are, because, like, I mean, on my way here, when I was doing this little vlog for the first time, on my way here, when I stopped a vlog, when I was getting close to Rex's house, AM Dubs called me, America's Most Wanted, and we talked, and he's like my brother, you know, it's like, we're really close, and it's just cool, you know, like, uh, all the people I've gotten close with in this community, you know, like John says, friends and family, I mean, that's, that's what it is. But I appreciate you guys. I'm sorry for rambling. You guys have probably already shut this video off by now. <laughs> but uh, appreciate you guys. I love y'all. Till next time. Have fun collecting. Rebels no rules. Thanks, guys. Let me know what you think of the vlog in the comments. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing that or not. All right? All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.